What happened between the 1316 killer and B Shadows Gaming? Well, the 1316 killer had no clue who this cat was. Had no idea who B Shadows Gaming was. He was sent a link, and he was asked to do something with it. Now, for this person, making a humorous satire video about almost anything is easy. It's flawless. Okay? This is one of his great strengths. He is a true satirist. Okay? Other people could take notes. He does it very, very well. Uh, but the problem with that is, the problem with being a very good satirist on YouTube is, a lot of the people don't see the humor in it, and they can't laugh at themselves, okay? A lot of people just don't have the ability to laugh at themselves. They take themselves way too damn seriously. Not just in YouTube, but on real life. Of course, in many ways, YouTube, in some ways, can be an extension of real life to some of these people. I like to get on YouTube and make funny videos. Not always. Sometimes I get on YouTube and I make serious videos, talking about the human condition. I might talk about some family stuff, you know, personal things. But mostly, I like to get on YouTube and make creative, humorous videos. Um, and the 1316 Killer shares this. He has a great motivation for getting on YouTube. Even at some times, I could tell that life gets him down, you know, he has these things in his life that, uh, you know, like anybody, but he chooses to get on YouTube regardless and continue to entertain his supporters that he values. He, that's why he does YouTube, to be humorous, to entertain, and also to shine a light upon things, okay? He also, I mean, probably shares the flair with me and a lot of other people who make YouTube, an artistic flair, okay? Now, I talk about that because I want to explain to a lot of you people that I might make satire videos on, or he might. A lot of this, in most all cases, it doesn't come from an era of hate, okay? If I make a video about Crap Gamer, or Rich of Review Take USA, or The Heavy Metal Cupcake, Alpha Mega Sin. If I make videos about these people, it's not necessarily, it's not really because I hate them. I don't even fucking know them, okay? This guy, try to, under, try to understand this. This guy sees this video that the 1316 Killer made about him, uh, and he comments on that video laughing about it, basically. And he's having fun. Okay, he's having fun, and I'll tell you why that is. You might say, why is he pissed off later but that, then having fun at the beginning? I think he was bothered legitimately at first, but he didn't want let pe to let people know how thin his skin was about it. So, he played along with the joke. He was the joke, but he played along putting on a front. That's all it was, putting on a front. Also, he's thinking, man... This 1316 killer, he has over 20,000 subscribers. You know, this will be a great opportunity to get more eyes upon me. So maybe I'll just play along for a little bit. Uh, didn't work though. Because maybe the 1316 killer just saw kind of through that, or I, I don't know. But he made more humorous videos based on this guy. Because this guy didn't get the fucking point, okay? And there's always a point to be made there with some of these satire videos, which is, above all else, don't take yourself so goddamn seriously on YouTube, all right? It's a simple thing to understand. Many, many people on YouTube think their shit doesn't stink, and they make videos thinking they're profound and they can't be, they can't be open for satire. Okay? Because they take themselves too seriously. These same people you probably know in real life. They have thin skin, they can't handle any kind of a criticism. Uh, and if this guy be Shadows, if, he, if he's having this many problems at this early stage in his YouTube career, just imagine if he was really famous on YouTube. I mean, say what you will about Review Take USA, 
But this is levels even Rich wouldn't go to. I mean, a lot of us make satire videos based on a lot of the flip-flopping and shit that Rich does. And a lot of the ignorance that we see on Review Tech USA. But this is fucked up. I can't think of any time that Rich has ever, like, flagged a video of the 1316 Killer. Okay? That's never happened. This guy... Well, of course you could say, Rich has really thick skin because every area of his body is thick. Especially his titties. He's thick. He's just a thick guy. Literally, <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to go into that, you know. I don't want to talk about that uh, voluptuous, sexy body that Rich has. Um, I'll think about that later probably tonight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so... If I was in that position, if any of you listening was in that position where the 1316 Killer made a video satiring one of your videos, would you have a meltdown? Would you go crazy? I would hope that you would probably see the humor in it. You know, and you would learn to laugh at yourselves. If you can't handle simple criticism without flagging videos, without trying to remove other people's videos. If you can't handle criticism of your videos, and you're going to delete your entire fucking channel or your videos or whatever you did, just because you're so afraid of criticism. Dude, save yourself some trouble. Save yourself some heartache. And just please get the hell off of YouTube. Okay? You're a grown-ass adult man. With a kid. With a kid, by the way, that you claim that Killer attacked for some fucking reason. Which doesn't make any sense. You know, he was just trying to prove a point uh, in a video, and he just happened to mention your kid. But, oh, you went into super defense mode, like, that really set you off. In fact, you'll probably say that that's the reason you flagged these videos. So here you are father of the fucking year using your kid holding up your kid is a shield against another youtuber whose criticism you can't handle fuck you dude i mean really fuck you for that seriously uh but things are gonna get tougher on your youtube journey my friend things are gonna get really tough because if you do become big on youtube you have to learn to accept the satire to accept the criticism okay Right now, it's easy for you, all right? You can say, it's easy for me, all right? Because not a big YouTuber. You're not a big YouTuber. But you don't think if one day I get 20, 30, 40,000 subscribers or more, I won't have to accept a lot of criticism and satire? You don't think people won't take things that I say and put it under a fucking microscope? You know? You, you don't think that? Dude, toughen up. Get yourself some thick skin, because right now it's as thin as toilet tissue. It's just, it's really sad. And I think I can sense it in uh, a recent video 1316 Killer made about you. I can sense it that he sees like, he's just, he sees it sad. Because he's like, dude, really? You're stooping to this level? You're taking this so seriously. I don't understand it. So, what's hilarious now is a lot of people are uploading those videos that uh, Killer is having to remove or it's being removed by you. So, you actually just made this the situation a lot worse because many YouTubers are just re-uploading these other videos. So, if you're thinking and your goal was, I'm going to squash this shit. I'm going to get that 1316 Killer. Oh, yeah. Then that just fucking backfired in your face like a goddamn shotgun, didn't it? Because now, you know, you're on blast, right? You're on blast. You are 100% exposed. Oh, you're exposed, dude. All you had to do was just laugh at the jokes. How hard was that shit? Very hard. It's very hard for a YouTuber that takes himself very seriously. And what is it over? What is it over? He satired you over being a closet Xbox supporter. A closet Xbox fanboy. Okay? I mean, I can't even give you the same credit as someone like Crap Gamer. Because at least Crap Gamer came out of the closet and is admitting that he's an Xbox fanboy. There's nothing more funny 
than someone that's a PlayStation or Xbox fanboy that tries to be neutral, but then they secretly have a hard-on for one of the consoles. I mean, what's sadder than a full-grown man, a full-grown man, not man enough to just go ahead and admit that he's a fanboy, all right? That's sadder than an actual fanboy, because you know it would be silly. It is silly. I mean, whether you're a Xbox fanboy, a PlayStation fanboy, Nintendo fanboy, or a part of the PC Master Race enthusiast or whatever, doesn't matter. That's sad. And a side note, I can't think of one female adult grown YouTuber advocating for plastic toy boxes. I can't think of one. Isn't that crazy? It's all men. It's all men. Wow, that's kind of funny. But anyways, so just get the hell off YouTube. I mean, really. I'm not saying that to me. Me, I'm saying it to save you some sleepless nights. Okay? I mean, how many sleepless nights will this video cause you? And again, I'm not the 1316 killer. I'm not that big of a YouTuber. Okay? But if you listen to this video and my criticism of you, are you going <laughs> to... Are you going to roll off the bed, you know, not able to sleep, you know? Are you going to have a rough day at work? <clears throat> Are you going to be angry with customers when they take their computers in for you to work on? <laughs> Goon Squad, it's pretty funny. Yeah, you're in the industry, right? That's so funny, too. That's so funny. Like, that is the funniest thing. For you to be all hard on your videos, I, I mean... I. I'm about to just lose it right now in laughter. I, I've got to get off this video. I mean, that's so funny. You claiming in one of your videos you're in the video game industry and people should listen to you, right? Motherfucker, listen to me. I'm in the industry, dog. You know, you're in the industry. Yeah, yeah, in the industry. Because you work at Best Buy in the video game section. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. You too can benefit from SOP. Consult the SOP training manual for more information. That's all the time we have for SOP until next team meeting. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal.